Hi guys, so first off I have to apologize for the sound, um, there's some construction going on around my house so if you hear something that's probably it. Um, anyways, today I have some kind of bass drop camera shake transition that if anyone's interested they can feel free to use so um, let's have a quick look at how to use it. Okay, so uh, we're in DaVinci Resolve in the, edit in the editing page again. Anyone who's uh, used my any of my transition or preset or macros are probably familiar with the, uh, the procedure by now. So let's say we want to uh, transition between these two clips using a camera shake. We just move the playhead to the cut point and I'm going to move the playhead to the left six frames. So just use the arrow on your keyboard. Just press it one, two, three, four, five, six to the left and use the blade tool, just make a cut and again move the playhead back to the cut point and now I'm going to move it to the right 6 frames, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 using the arrow on my keyboard and make another cut. Now I'm just going to use the arrow uh, tool and just going to highlight the two sections that we've cut out. Uh, press right click and then go to new compound clip. Now you can name your compound clip whatever you want, I'm just going to use the default setting and we have created a, a combined compound clip right here. So I'm just going to move the playhead over the compound clip and go to the fusion tab. Uh, just wait a while because my computer is pretty slow. Um, and down below I'll leave a link where you can download this um, preset or macro file, it's only 4 kilobytes, so really small. And you can save it anywhere you want in your computer, in any folder in Windows and then you just drag it into the Fusion tab and put it between the input and the output. And now if we play the compound clip, we can see it now, our video is already shaking. So we go back out to the editing tab and let's have a quick play. As you can see now the transition is like a camera shake or like a bass drop transition. Now there's some th uh, a little thing you can do to fine tune the effect. So if we go back to the Fusion tab again and we come to the inspector panel right here, you can see it, there's the option for random seed. Basically this is used to calculate the randomness of the shake. Um, so basically if you have lots of this effect in a single clip, you might not want them all to shake kind of in the exact same way. You might want it to be like each shake to be different. So you can try playing around with the random seed, which is the value that basically the program uses to randomize the, uh, the shakiness of the camera basically. So you can maybe one transition might be random seed of zero, the next one might be 10, the next one might be 15 or whatever. So you get a different shake every time. Or if you're like not happy with the uh, the motion of a shake, let's say if it's, it was at zero and you're not quite happy with the shake, you can kind of just play around with the random seed, like try different values until you get like uh, a shaking motion that you, you want or that you like basically. So now I've changed the random seed, so the shaking motion is slightly different now. Again, you can just play around with it as much as you want. Okay, that's pretty much it. And uh, as with all the other macros and presets I've uh, given before. Um, feel free to use them for your personal projects or commercial projects. You know, you can use them in your work if you wish or paid client work. Just don't like go and sell the, <laughs> sell the macro. Uh, that would not be too great for the community, but um, or not very nice basically. Uh, and that's pretty much it, I guess. Maybe if I have some more, I'll share, share them as I make them or if I get a chance. Bye.